Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm just going to talk about transferring within the British Army and the brand new digital portal that the British Army has just brought out to make transferring job roles or cap badges much, much easier. So let's get straight into it. So first thing you're going to do is navigate to the Defence Gateway site. You can even do this in work or at home. Just Google it. And then you're going to put in your user or service staff number and password. So I'll go ahead and do that now and then I'll show you where to go after that. So once you're logged in, you are going to end up here on the Defence Gateway website. You're then going to move down to applications. It might be open already if you've used it before. If not, you'll just click the down arrow and you are looking for digital transfers which of course, right there. So let's click on that, open it up. Here we go. So we've got the dashboard, search, shortlist and track at the top. So first we're going to search for search and say you wanted to transfer to electronic warfare, for instance, you are going to either type it in or because I've already practiced this to make sure it goes swimmingly, just click on what you've done. So we'll do a search and it's brought us up for jobs that generally include electronic warfare. We'll start here on the top left. Details. Coming from there, what is going to tell you now what your job will be? So your opportunity details and opportunity summary, which for this job, it's for Lance Corporal. And that is an automatic qualification once you've finished trade training as well education that you need to be able to qualify in order to transfer over to EWSI trade. It's a level two in numeracy or literacy or civilian qualifications um, in English and maths and proof required. It means you just have to show them to your clerk. Now, that's one is at Lance Corporal, but if you look here on number 58, This one is for corporal. Now, of course, there's less corporals than lance corporals within any cap badge, really. So therefore, you might stand a better chance of getting in as a corporal within the EWSI trade. But there are jobs there. Even if you've got to corporal, it doesn't mean that it is too late to transfer. We have had in the past, we've had sergeant transfer over to the EWSI trade. Now, what we'll do, we will heart that for now to think, yes, I want to utilize this or transfer onto this, but I also just want to check the Remy, for instance. We'll have a look at the Remy and are there any job openings for the Remy? So this one has brought up two job openings and we've got vehicle mechanic craftsman and vehicle mechanic at Lance Corporal level. So you have the rank there, Craftsman and Lance Corporal. So we'll have a look at this one. And this will tell you the education that you need to transfer over or the civvy qualifications that you need to transfer over as well. Goes through the medical and performance and of course is at the rank of private. Here, opportunity details tell you what you're going to be doing and what that job entails. Now you think, actually, no, I'm going to stick with electronic warfare at this moment in time. So you're going to go up to shortlist. And we've got our electronic warfare signals intelligence job on the shortlist here. You will then go through these check boxes. Confirm you verified your required transfer competencies in the portal. So then you're going to have to go through that. You can always go into your clerk for that. You can confirm you have taken any required supporting documentation to the clerk as well. And also read and accept the transfer policy. So you tick over them once you've completed all of these three processes. And then you could put in your reasons as in career aspirations, etc. So you will fill that in. Apply will open up and then you will click it. 
I'm not going to be clicking it because I'm not transferring it this moment in time. So I'll quickly uncheck them. But what I will say is if you are thinking of transferring, ensure that you seek guidance from your chain of command also. Don't just become disgruntled one weekend and then just think, do you know what? I'm just going to change cat badge, change trade or... If your friend, for instance, here has just joined the Remi, they're having a much better time than you, and you just think, well, I'm transferring to Remi to see what's there. Just think about it and seek advice from chain of command as well. And then what will happen is once you've submitted your shortlist and your application, you will then be able to track its movement, where it's going to and how long in the process that it is. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that has opened up a couple more avenues for people that may have been thinking about transferring but thought, do you know what? The process is a little bit difficult. So now you can just go online and take it from there. If you do have any questions, please just ask. Otherwise, take care. Bye.